Hello, I'm Andrew, aka Quasi from Quasi's Bell Tower, and this is Point Rock Review. And today is a nice chilly 36 degrees right now. I got my little space heater going, trying to keep me warm while I'm doing this video. But anyways, our first beer for tonight is called Wolf King Imperial Stout with coffee and oatmeal. And this is brought to us by Rusty Rail Brewing. I've never heard of these guys. Um, I'm not even sure where they're from. It doesn't say it on here. Um, but this alcohol on this is 8.2 um, alcohol by volume. And the IBUs on this, if you want to know, is 20. The can is really cool. I like that. Being if you can. So let's open this bad boy open. And pour this bad boy in. Ooh, and that is nice dark beer, just like I thought it would be, being a stout. Hmm. Don't overflow on me now. Just a little, right? Just a little. Okay, guys. So let's take a whip. Yeah, that smells like coffee. That smells like a stout. So let's try this out. Mm, pretty good. Let me get past that foam. That's a pretty good mix of uh, coffee and oatmeal in the stout. Um, that is quite interesting. It's really creamy too. Mm. It's not as heavy as I thought it would be being 8.3 and it being a coffee and an oatmeal stout together. I thought it would be a little heavier, but it's not. It's quite smooth. Taste on this is pretty good. It's definitely got the coffee and the oatmeal stout um, notes in it. You can definitely tell. The coffee is not very strong. It's a good balance between the coffee and the uh, oatmeal, I think. Yeah, if you like your uh, stouts, and you ever find this, I would say pick it up and give it a try. It's, uh, it's not bad. Not bad at all. So, as I was looking at this can, I realized that, hey, it does say where uh, Rust Rail Brewing Company is. And they are from uh, Mifflinburg, if that, I'm pronouncing that right. I I'm, could be wrong. I'm really bad when it comes to announcing states and cities and stuff like that. But uh, they're in Pennsylvania. They are the Brewing Boldly in the heart of Pennsylvania. So uh, that's where they're located is Pennsylvania. So our next beer is Big Gruesome. This is brought to us by Springhouse Brewing Company. Of course, this is another company I've never heard of. This is new too. This is coming at us from Lancaster. Or land, yeah, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And the alcohol on this is 8.3. It is a whole point one more than the Wolf King. Uh, there is no story. Here is what it looks like, the can. Hopefully you guys can see that. That's pretty nifty. Um, I think this would have been a great Halloween beer for us probably to do. But uh, when I got it, it was already after Halloween. So, what are you gonna do, you know? So let's open this bad boy and see what we got. It smells like a, it smells like chocolate, you can smell it. Kind of got that peanut butter smell to it. Ooh, that's really dark. Now that it's out of the can, let's take a big old whiff. 
Hey, that's funny. I know it's after Halloween and everything else, and I'm a big sucker for the um, chocolate Tootsie Roll Pops. Those are my favorite, and that's what that smells like. Oh, that's funny. It smells like a chocolate Tootsie Roll Pop. Huh. Well, let's see what it tastes like. Let's get, get going here. Got some chocolate in there. Peanut butter is kind of different. Um, it's there. It just it's weird. The taste of it right now. So let me take another taste of this and see where we're going. As I taste this, it smells like the Tootsie Roll Pop, but it doesn't taste like it. It does have that chocolate taste. Um, it almost seems a little watered down. I could be wrong. Maybe that's just the alcohol, the high alcohol in it. That's kind of changing that. Who knows? The peanut butter there is there, but it's not like, like a creamy peanut butter. Um, I know that we did a video, I think it was video 70, where we did... Uh, um, the claws or do claws um, sweet baby Jesus and that one was really heavy it was really really heavy and it had uh, uh, it had the chocolate and it had the peanut butter this seems to have it too but it seems to be a little uh, mellow I want to say almost I won't say watered down I won't say that but it seems it seems mellow um, the chocolate there that is there uh, the peanut butter, I, I don't know, it, it almost tastes more like uh, unsalted peanuts more than anything. But you know, man, the Jawas are just popping out of nowhere tonight. But it does have a little bit of peanut butter. The chocolate's there. Um, Surprisingly, this is quite smooth. It's not very heavy. I thought it would be being 8.3 and it being a chocolate peanut butter uh, beer or stout. Um, but it's not really that heavy, which is which is good because you know you can drink more than one and it's not um, gonna you know upset your stomach or already say, hey man, I've had enough beer for the night until my belly settles because it's just too heavy. Um, this is kind of smooth. And it, it kind of makes it taste kind of weird. I won't say bad. It's just, it's weird. Like I said, it's, it, it smells like the Tootsie Roll Pop. It doesn't really taste like it, but now as I think about it, now and maybe just because it's just in my mind, it kind of tastes like it, pretty much. But that means, hey, it's still got a chocolate taste to it, right? Like I said, the, the peanut butter in it is more like just, it. I guess it's got that peanut taste in it, kind of that earthy taste to it. Um, that's the only way I can describe that. But it's not bad, I kind of like it. So our first review is Wolf King, brought to us by Rusty Rail Brewing Company. Now, I've never had this beer from this company before, or had a beer from this company at all, honestly. And uh, you know what, for being a Imperial Stout with coffee and oatmeal, it was a good blend. It, it, it really blended really well. It wasn't heavy, which most Imperial Stouts, if you know, can be very heavy. The alcohol in it was 8.2, it wasn't bad. Uh, this was actually a really good beer, and I would definitely drink this again. And uh, it being a first time beer for me, you guys are gonna get a three, because this was pretty darn good. So our next beer is Big Gruesome, and this is brought to us by Springhouse Brewing Company. And this is the first time I've had a beer from this company, and this was pretty good. Um, it's really hard to find a good chocolate stout with peanut butter. Um, I've had a few of them. I've had some good ones. I've had some eh, not so good ones But you know what this one was pretty darn good And uh, if you guys can find this I would pick it up and I would give this one a 3.5 
So that's two beers, two reviews, and two more reasons for you to try a beer from a company you've never heard of. Until next time, guys. Any of you local viewers that watch our channel, go check out Anacosti and check out their huge selection of, oh, yeah. of beers. If you want something different than the norm, I would go there. Mm -hmm. So if you're ever in Rome, New York, go check out Anacosti. And tell them Point Rock Review sent you.